Hi, uh, my name is Rosie, and this is my video reflection number four. Um, we'll talk about chapter 11, Levinson's theory of the concept of life structure and um, AA as um, alcoholism and other substance use. Um, it is a disease, um, and I know that from experience. So the um, I am a recovering alcoholic and addict, and um, you know, th how I was taught is, um, it centers on our thinking and, um, and it's a disease because if you kind of, um, separate it, it's a dis-ease of how we feel inside, like having a, a void inside your body and trying to fill it with things that, um, never really seem to make you happy, but, um, kind of like an instant gratification at the time uh, makes you feel good for a moment um, by getting a high or uh, you know getting drunk um, and for a minute those fears and the anxiety they go away but they always come back um, so um, the the concept of life structure for Levinson's theory um, just you know you know, in going through uh, the recovery process uh, at 11 and a half years already um, that I have clean and sober, um, I have I have definitely developed um, mentally, emotionally, and um, when you're when you're in your addiction or your alcoholism, you kind of stunt that growth um, because you're too busy putting substances in your body and. Uh, when you come out of that and you actually practice living life on life's terms, um, you begin to go through life structure, which is Levinson's theory. Um, and you begin to see the emotional intelligence and development in um, how you think and what you feel, how you can manage your emotions. Um, and I think that's important. Um, to, I think that this education that I'm getting now is, is very important to not just myself and my growth, um, even though I got it late in life, um, but um, to understand when it comes to my clients and what they may be going through um, and having that empathy for them. And that's what I have. Any feedback, any feedback is welcome. Thanks.